What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog, gonna show you how to jailbreak your Apple TV 2 running iOS 5, that is the latest version of iOS for the Apple TV with the latest updated user interface. Now you will need your HDMI cable, of course, you'll need your USB micro cable, and you'll need your power cable as well to perform this tethered jailbreak using Season Pass. First of all, just plug your power cable in, and then secondly, plug in your USB micro cable, make sure you have the right cable. Uh, go ahead and just plug that in right there in the little slot. There it is, so we have the power and the USB cable plugged in, we're good to go. Now load up Season Pass, if you don't know how to download it, just go to our downloads page on iDownloadBlog or search for Season Pass in Google or look in the description. It'll download, it'll take a while if you don't already have the latest firmware for your Apple TV, download it. Once it's completed with the download, you'll see something that looks a little bit like this, unzipping IPSW. And I'm gonna speed this up a little bit just to get through this, it's, it takes a while. So. You'll see patching RAM disk, et cetera, creating IPSW. So basically it's creating a custom firmware for your Apple TV. And what it's gonna do is automatically restore that in iTunes. It's pretty slick if you haven't used Season Pass before. It's a great jailbreak tool, probably one of the easiest tools that you can use for any iOS device when it comes to jailbreaking. Now it wants you to put your device in the DFU mode. So you wanna hold the menu and the play pause button for seven seconds, the menu, play, pause right there. Hold them for seven seconds. We'll just count down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, okay, you should see the little light speed up a little bit eventually. Um, and then once it does that, you're gonna notice this. Found device in DFU mode, it's gonna go through and it's going to restore your Apple TV with the custom firmware, the custom season pass firmware that jailbreaks your device. Now this is a tethered jailbreak and I'll show you how to do a tethered boot here in just a second but you'll see uploading, IBC, this all takes quite a while to complete. You'll see restoring in iTunes, and then you'll notice iTunes open up, it'll run a script and automatically do all this for you. You don't have to click restore or anything. This is what I'm saying. This thing is so easy to jailbreak your Apple TV with. Um, that's, that's what I was getting at earlier, how easy this season pass tool is. Definitely worth trying if you haven't tried it out. So you'll see it extracting the software, preparing Apple TV for restore, Verifying, restore, restoring Apple TV software. And again, I've sped this up considerably because it takes a while to restore that firmware. So you'll see restoring Apple TV. Okay. Now while this is going on, just keep in mind that this is just the jailbreak portion. If you want to have a lot of applications, there's going to be another follow-up video show you how to use ATV Flash Black and various other things. Once you have finished, you'll see your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings, blase, blase, that's good. Now you wanna get back to your Apple TV. We, we need to put this thing in the DFU mode so we can perform a tethered boot. So you should see your Apple TV flashing like that. Head back over to Season Pass, go back to the main menu, click Boot Tethered. Then you'll see waiting for device to enter DFU mode. You know the drill, hold power, or not power, hold menu and play pause until seven seconds are up. And then you'll see this, waiting for device to enter DFU mode, found device in DFU mode. And it'll go through the whole spill again. It's just like performing a tethered boot on an iPhone or iPad or anything like that. So super simple, super easy. You'll see this, upload successful. And you see tethered boot complete. It is now safe to disconnect the USB. So what you wanna do is grab your device, make sure your power stays in because it's a tether boot, unplug the USB, plug in your HDMI cable and if you need to, your ethernet cable, and then go through the setup here. So just go to English, okay? If you're speaking English, of course, assuming that, and then okay, or whatever, no thanks, whatever you wanna choose. And then you should see the FireCore logo right there on the settings app, right there to the very right, upper right hand corner, the little icon there, that is normally a settings logo, but now it is the FireCore logo. So that is how you jailbreak your Apple TV 2 running iOS 5. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.